Hi, I'm Phyllis. My website is southernfrugal.com and on that site I've got a page that is uh, entitled Products I Highly Recommend and that's the page uh, folks visit the most. So anyway, today we're going to have some uh, seared steak in the skillet. Now I haven't fixed a steak in the skillet in forever. But uh, what we're going to have is sirloin tender steaks, and this is Angus beef. And I've already put tenderizer on them. They're three small steaks. Using the Adolf's um, meat tenderizer, this is the original. And, and you, when you do use this, you want to make sure you don't use any salt on your steak because it will make it definitely too salty. So I just poked it with the... Uh, forks on each side and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually heating up my cast iron skillet right there. I've already got some Bernays sauce fixed because I love that with this kind of steak. So we're going to get this um, skillet scorching hot. Yeah, you need it really, really hot. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we've got this skillet just blazing hot now. And what I have done, and this is just the way I do them, I know everybody else doesn't do them the same way. I went ahead and put olive oil on both sides of the little steaks. So we're gonna plop them in here, and there's gonna be a lot of sizzling. The splatter spring is going to go right over the top. Alright, let me move this back. So we're going to let these cook about probably two, two and a half, no more than three minutes on each side. Alright, so we have been working in the yard again all this week, except for Monday, I think. Anyway, we have completed the garbage can. Um, I don't know, restoring it, that's what we'll call it. And uh, we also got the fence fixed outside, the one that's around the tree that the tree had actually grown so large it broke the boards. And I want to keep mindful of the time here. So anyway, we've done that. We have not gotten the rug back down to do with the front porch yet, but maybe after we eat and everything, we'll uh, go out and uh, look at the at the tree and we'll look at the garbage can holders so well we only use one garbage can because it's just the two of us all right they're cooking I'll let you look at that i'll take this off and let you see yeah. all right we're ready to turn them over let me move y'all closer so you can see and still keeping that skillet very, very hot. And they already smell good. Now, I, I like this Bernays sauce, any brand. I love it all. So I went ahead and fixed some of that. Mr. Ducky doesn't like it as well as I do, but I love it to do with this kind of steak. In fact, I could eat the whole pot, really. So, we're going to let this cook just a little bit longer, and I'm going to fix my uh, potatoes. I've already baked the potatoes there. There they are right there. And uh, get some butter on those, get the cheese fixed. I've already actually got the salad in the bowls over there. Anyway, we're going to let this cook about two minutes on this, this side, too, which should make them about medium. All right, y'all, we'll be back in just a little while. And I will put the clip at the end of this video to uh, show the garbage can holders and that little fence out there. All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, we have taken the steaks up and I want to show you what Mr. Bucky likes. All right, where I cooked the steaks, I added a little bit of water to that, pour it in a little dipping bowl for him. So you'll be able to get all that brown up from the skillet. Here are the steaks, they're all ready. All right, let me get all this on the plate and we'll be back. We've got to let these rest for just a little while. All right, I went 
wanted to show y'all oops what the steak looks like oops too far it's cooked medium I don't know if you can see that or not it won't focus maybe you can see it if I move it back anyway it's got just a little pink center on it all right gonna get it on the plate this time and I'm gonna eat that bite all right here's the meal on the plate here's mr. Bucky's plate I'm sorry I couldn't get it to focus to show it's cooked medium both steaks are there's his baked potato and of course his juice that comes from the skillet and our iced tea in those buffalo glasses because they don't sweat at all and keep the tea super cold and there's my plate I might have had already some of that steak and I get two two baked potatoes because I love them so much and there's our bread and my holiday sauce I mean excuse me Bernays sauce to go with mine and so there we are we are ready to eat y'all all right I'm gonna do a little clip out in the yard as soon as we eat and I get my food digested so all right bye all right y'all there's the garbage can reinforcement and uh, we wanted to keep the uh, pickets there because they match the fence better yeah so anyway there's what it looks like there the dogs are outside we'll go look at the flowers now hold on there are the dogs little steely and little sunny hey steely dog yeah there's one of uh, Sonny's little sticks. He gets them all the time. Anyway, here's what the flowers look like. The uh, coleus back there is doing really well. We've had a lot of rain, but we've also got... What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Um, we've got some slugs eating on the dahlias here. And we can't really put out slug bait because we have dogs. So... Yeah, they're eating on them pretty good, but not so much down here. The yellow dahlias are blooming, and of course we've got that border grass that's got that purple bloom on it, which I was hoping the dahlias would have more blooms on them, but here's what they look like kind of together. I thought they looked really pretty. Yeah, I can see that slugs have been eating on these dahlias too. I've never planted dahlias before, but they don't mess with the coleus. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I did plant late, so that's part of it. All right, let's go look at the, the uh, fence out back. All right, here's how we fix the uh, fence around the tree. We finally decided to give it some room to grow and uh, put up the wire and move those pickets around. Some of them had actually grown. The tree had grown around the, the pickets for the fence, but... Anyway, that's what we ended up having to do, and I didn't want the uh, new wood because that would stand out too much, but that looks a lot better than it did, I'll have to say. Yeah, and uh, while I was out here working with Mr. Bucky, I dropped the little, uh, that little thing that where you close up the uh, drill around the drill bits, and uh, I dropped it and I lost it. Mr. Bucky was just a little bit upset about that, but we'll just have to try to find a new one. Anyway, can't find it in all this mess here. Yeah. All right, so that's it. I'll give you a view of the flowers from the fence. Hold on. Okay, there's a view of the Venka. And of course they do really, really well when it's uh, Hot, hot and dry weather. There they are. Yeah, they did pretty well. And I got some down on the other end. You can't really see those down there. Yeah, can't really see those. Anyway, y'all, that's about it. All right, let's go around and uh, look at the flowers in the back again. Okay, so Sunny's out here helping Mama, watching out for danger. Yeah, we got that uh, basket there uh, that they used to go to the bathroom. We all move it all around in the yard. And uh, 
so anyway yeah we got leaves coming down everywhere now and it's not even fall yet here are the begonias i thought they did really really well we've had a lot a lot of rain so they filled in very nicely there all right y'all that's about it let me turn this around so we will see y'all next time uh, we have been working all week out here on other various things and getting that garage cleaned out it's a lot of stuff over what 30 some years we'll see y'all next time bye for now